And what did you guys do? Watched a movie. Okay. Which movie? Honestly, couldn't tell you. <laughs> Tegan Dick. You know, they're always some kind of vampire, drama, apocalyptic, teenage angsty thing. Don't tell her, but I never pay attention. I'm into hard sci-fi. Oh, good to know. Anything else, or...? No. Thanks for talking to me. Yep. Sure. Yep, yep, yep. Bye. Yep, yep, yep. So, let's get out of here. Wait, is there... You want me to look at the photos? No, I can't really do much with those photos. Rule one of getting away with it, never trust the detective. Yeah, no kidding. The walls are still smoldering from the fire. It's making my eyes water. So let's see here. I'm still not sure what to do with this laurel. Um, doesn't really seem to be anything I can do with it just yet. We'll have to just keep that in mind. Take a pick. Oh, actually, that's a great idea. There we go. Thank you for that suggestion. So, rumor has it there's a place out here for a pumpkin. The rumor... Oh, there is a candle right there. Thank you for shouting that out. If it'll let me. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But I still can't get in here yet, right? A wooden decoration. Portraying snapdragons. So, what shall we do? Um... I guess... Let's go back to town, maybe? No, not that way. Ah, the mirror was the hint for finding the note. Got it, got it. Okay. We need a new pumpkin, that's for sure. Oh, there's a place for a pumpkin right there. Haha. -ha. Hand paper to Lauren. Well, first order of business is carve a new pumpkin. And I think we can also give the business card to uh, Olivia, right? Well, we're going to go with that one. Ooh, we're going to make it like this. Oh, yeah, that one I like. Done. Two. This looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. We know exactly where we're going to put it. So let's confront... Uh, Walky bits here are kind of weird, but let's confront our friend with the business card. Hey, what's this? Oh no, she won't take it. All right, never mind. Back out. Can I go out this way? Yes, I can. Two months and a day to Halloween. Go give Olivia her jacket back. Wait, was it actually Olivia's jacket? The shops aren't making a lot of business. So I have to. Okay, I'll try the jacket instead. Hey, Olivia. No, I can't give her the jacket either. I don't think it's her jacket, but I could be wrong. Let's go. Pumpkin. Drop that off, and then we'll grab another pumpkin. There was one right by the tree here. That's right, we got priorities. Here we go. Yes. How do I know when I've done the pumpkins? <laughs> And I feel like I'm now a slave to the pumpkins. You know what I mean? Like my whole trips and travels are all about making sure I have a carved pumpkin handy. Let's do that one. Oops. Okay. This looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. Yeah, the card didn't work. The jacket didn't work. But I do have this letter. So we'll go and uh, see if we can talk to Lauren about that. I mean, we could go talk to May. We'd have to get in our cool car, though. There we go. Hey, how's it going? 
Well, maybe we just have to talk to them. I just have a couple more things I wanted to ask you. Yeah, I do think that the uh, jacket belongs to Jason as well. See you later. Hmm. So what are my tasks, anyways? Get permission for further investigation and rest of break-in at the courthouse. Gather alibis. Huh. Here, do you like this jacket? No. Oh, maybe the lighter. No, May's probably the lighter, right? That looks like May's style. So now what do I do? Uh, maybe we can go and find out... You know what? Maybe this jacket belongs to Alicia. Maybe we'll go talk to her. Once I figure out how to get out of here. Looks like Jason... Oh, the Jason's still there. Let's ask him about the coat. No, he doesn't want to deal with that. Hi, Nancy. What's going on? See you later. I sure hope not, but... <clears throat> I don't think... I'll try, Ruin, but I don't think we can do multiple pumpkins. Oh, what? We don't knock anymore? Nope. You left your door open. Yep. Actually, that was Damien Faulkner. He's my intern. You have an intern? I haven't seen him. He's around. Someone has to make the coffee here. I'm swamped most days, and I could barely trust Judge Danforth with a flashlight. Oh, I mean, he's not that inept. <sighs> You're right. That was mean. Anyway, what can I help you with? Uh, nothing. See you later. Coat? Nope. Letter? Hmm. Damien. Yeah, the movie BFFF. -F. So. I really should call Dad so he can run this by the judge. Ah. The whole investigation if I was caught snooping around the courthouse without permission. Daddy, save me. Damn. How's my girl doing? Hey, Dad. I have a favor I need to ask you. Of course. Shoot. I need to investigate inside the Salem courthouse, specifically concerning the burglary in the evidence room. Do you think you could call Judge Danforth on my behalf and get his permission? Not a problem. You know, this reminds me. Next time you see him, you should bring up the Lake Winnipesaukee regatta. No, yeah. don't! Yeah? Maybe later. Sure thing. Talk soon. Dad, did you do it yet? Dad, Dad, hurry up. Dad, Dad, Dad. You're all set. Great. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Is there anything else? I'm just really proud of you, Nancy. I don't know how often I tell you that. I think it's not nearly enough. Thanks, Dad. You know I learned it all from you, right? Oh, now okay, I know Okay, settle down. The judge told me about a certain lock-picking incident. You certainly didn't learn that from me. <laughs> may have picked up a few extra skills along the way. Oh, man. I expect nothing less. Love you, kiddo. Go get him. Mm-hmm. So, I guess we gotta talk to the judge first. Judge? Everything okay? What in the Sam heck is a Bitcoin? A Bitcoin? A it's what? a cryptocurrency. A what? Um, it's a decentralized digital currency. <sighs> All these new made-up digital things just go too far, if you ask me. Nothing's ever been wrong with good old American Benjamins. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. <laughs> Could you give me the code for the keypad? Oh, yes, about that. Well, you see, I had it written on a post-it note, but I seem to have misplaced it. It should be around here somewhere. Feel free to look for it. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I love a good scavenger hunt. Oh, Nancy, no. We all need a little bit of Bitcoin, don't we, Pink? Just a little bit. So I seriously have to find a, a post-it note with the passcode for this? Oh, boy. Wait, what's this all about? Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Wait. Okay. No, that's not it. No. 
The man gives new definition to scatterbrained. Right. Gotta be around here somewhere. Aha! There's a number written on here. Found it. Can I have it? 0815? Do I just take a picture of it? I do not. 0815. So that's that. The Guide to Psychotherapy. Encyclopedia of Psychology. Hmm. Yeah, the navigation is a little tricky to get used to. Did we check the entire house at Perry's? Um, I guess no. Do you happen to have a list of all the evidence that was stored here? Something before the break-in? Yes, actually. You should be able to get it from the computer in the evidence room. Feel free to use the printer and take the list with you. I'm going out on a limb for you here. That sort of information isn't usually available to the public. I understand. I'll keep the list close. Thank you. So it looks like we can go. Let's go check out the evidence room then. Keypad. 0815. And we're in. Oh, that is a serious break-in. Wow. No glass on the floor. So the window was broken from the inside. Nancy Drew solving the mystery already. What is this all about? Hmm. So it looks like we need a computer. Ah, here we go. The city of Salem. A map of Salem. How do I interact with it? A map. Mm, nothing at the moment. And we now have an evidence list. Howdy, Shadow. How are you doing? Take a pick. Now to figure out which ones were stolen. I will try it to take a pick. That might be a little zoomed out. Maybe if I go in a little closer. Let's try now. Nope, it still put me back here. All right. We will go to the computer. It's dusty. <laughs> okay. Doesn't mean it's bad. Hey, Bug, how are you doing? It's dusty. I don't think that's gonna... Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Okay, that kind of startled me. Evidence list. No. So, no. So which one did we just look at? N10? No. No. So I guess we'll probably should have started this at number one. <laughs> no. No. Number two? No. Wait. Dun, 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 dun. So she's there's basically something in all 20 of them. Wait, 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 wait. Alicia Cole. Why does that... F I feel like... Number 20 might be the one that we want to check. Yeah. So let's get out of here and go to number 20. Of course, it's the bottom right corner. Stop doing that game. Aha! No. <laughs> what? What do you mean number 6? What did I miss? Oh, S. T. -T Perry. Huh. Got it. You were thinking about collected by. I was thinking about checked out by. T. Perry's got quite a bit. Six. There's ten, eleven. Okay. Rotate? Nope, nothing. So you want me to check six first? Number six it is. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting.
Interesting. So that's two, six and eleven that we missed. T Perry, T Perry. So then we should probably check eighteen while we're at it. Mm, yep. Interesting. All of the stolen evidence was linked to the accused witch's claim to Hathorn House. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Nailed it. So we should go tell the judge what we found about the evidence that's gone missing. Who has access to the evidence room? Oh. Well, that would be me and Alicia. Why do you ask? Hmm. Just curious. Thanks. I'll come back later. Really? That's it? 